We're here live. It is Epicenter main stage action. Ooh. So much damage, especially with the setup of Burrow Strike. Silent's got to be very careful. All they have right now to throw is the cast. They don't yep. even have Maledict to work with. King RD Sand King. This has been a staple. Ooh, Burrow Strike comes in. I know he's want to fly. They're trying to get this first blood, but King RD is getting quite low as Silent continues to chase. Tavo's trying to get first blood. Ooh, drop first. And it's actually first blood for Tavo. Always on over. Always want to fly. Eden them. Watch it. You don't need him. You keep that HP regen. And as it stands, He's getting low, but he'll quickly heal back up. Mid yeah, lane, look for Weehai as they throw the rockets and the laser, killing Ooh. off Weehai. Tries to get that branch tree eaten. Now, over bottom, they're going to look for Tavo. Three heroes here. No fear. Gets the Janana off. They're continuing to chase. They've got to always want to fly in with the Maledict, especially with the damage coming up from Silent. I'll take down Tavo. When you have to track the heat seeking missiles flying around, Tinker can push up mid, farm lanes, farm jungle, and then also TP top. When someone Doom goes for that Doom gig, you've got that plus one who can boot to travel in at any given moment. Yeah, so they are setting up over top. They've got Nangrada, always want to fly as well as yep. No Fear. Ready to go on HFN. We'll see what they're able to do as they use the Scorch Earth early. They throw the Shuriken. Cast comes out with the Infernal Blade. The Maledic damage might be enough, but now the Usapi comes out on Nangrada. They'll trade HFN as well as Nangrada. will both drop while Fly and Moon are looking yeah, mid, mid. So they're going to try and go in mid. The Cast will bounce around again. They've got the Maledic. The Laguna Blade comes out on No Fear, but it's not going to be enough. The Pearl Strike follows up from King RT as he TPs in. They'll look for No Fear. They'll trade so far. And now Tavo's made his way over with Duster. So they look after Always Wanna Fly. They chase him down. There's the dual breath and the last shot coming in from Duster. King Adi using the Sandstorm very early. That's a long cooldown, so he won't have that available to him as a defensive tool. They set up around the back. They've got the Lucent Beat. That'll start off on the Doom as well as the Burrow Strike. Macro Pyre laid down, but the cast will be thrown by Always Wanna Fly. Burns a little bit in the Macro Pyre damage. Maledic finally hits on HFN. The chase is on it. Silence made the turn over towards Top Wave with a Shockwave coming across. They'll take out Nangrana. The Burrow Strike to get enough space, but it's not going to be far enough as the Infernal Wave comes out and Silent continues on forward to get a kill. They look over at Duster. They got under the tier one tower. They've got four heroes here for the side of Fine and Moon. And Duster's got nowhere to go. They'll take him out as well. Three heroes dropping four paying gaming. Courts. I'm surprised he even yeah. maybe took that risk. They instantly ping the ward. It's very common that Bounty gets these deep wards, which are mostly used for, for courier sniping. Ooh, they've got the Doom that'll come out on Weehai as well as the Infernal Blade. They take him out so quickly. Duster as well as King RD come over to try and get something in return with the Burrow Strike coming through. But Nunkrata, he's got that Scorch. This hurt. Just gonna he's hurt. so hard to kill. And now they've got themselves the epicenter that does absolutely nothing. King RD's a little bit low. They won't get for Nangrana. He's still trying to land that shockwave. Comes a little bit to the right of King RD, and they finally take out Nangrana and always want to fly. King RD still low. The ice path lands on the no fear. Here comes Silent. He will try to get something as oh, he goes track. after HFN to track the rockets, and they will take out the Luna. Somehow King RD juked the bounty hunter there and did not get picked off by him, but bounty got level six, and Tinker's reappearance in that fight, the second hurrah. HFN is pretty well protected by this Observer Sentry combo. That scouts No Fear yeah. coming in. No Fear hit with the Burrow Strike. They've also got the Lucent Beam. Quite a bit of damage for No Fear to take. He throws the track out on King RD as they will bring in Silent as well as Always Want to Fight with the Malda coming out. There's the Doppelganger just trying to get this kill, and they will. So they at least trade one for one. And losing No Fear at that moment is not the worst thing in the world as they get that track kill. But the Yules comes out onto this Witch Doctor. There's the Wild Axis. Comes across with the Ice Path. Now they've got the Primal Roar. That'll come through onto Silent. They'll get themselves up the PL. And going for the D ward when your teammate just died there was a big, big mistake that they got punished for. But they're going to get some revenge. Yeah, they look for Luna up top as they throw the Doom as well as the Infernal Blade with the Scorched Earth as and Tinker here. Iceberg able to clean up HFN and they kill him again. Tinker can very quickly show up in this bottom lane as well. And yeah, Tavo's in trouble. And they come on over. They've got the Janata. Iceberg's here with Always Wanna Fly. There's the Cask and the Chase is on. Maledict comes out and there's not really much place to run. He might be able to get No Fear, but with the laser coming out from Iceberg, he's got a double kill, taking out both the Luna and the Beastmaster. Play around your sentry so that you don't get caught out by the bounty. Smoke broken as King RD Tavo as well as Duster come over. They've got the sentry ward. They missed the Burl Strike on No Fear. Now here's the turnaround because they've got the Tinker ready to go. Iceberg comes in. Duster lands a nice three man ice path, but this is not going to help him get away, especially if they throw the whole rockets out. The Infernal Blade comes out. King RD drops as well as Duster. Double kill here for No Fear. The Laguna Blade will take out Iceberg with the help of Tavo. At a shrine, you don't really want to blink in, commit to a team fight. Imagine Iceberg's feeling very hesitant about aggressive blinks, because that's how he died in the top lane. So even though that top fight was good for them, he'd rather not die there if you're the Tinker. So he's going to be probably a lot more defensive with his blinks until he gets a few more kills. Yeah, they've got Nungrata over me. The blink with the Burrow Strike, that comes out. But the Maladic comes through as well as the cast. The Ice Path onto this 
Chase Duma, Laguna win as well, but Nakata is just not dead yet. We have Yules up, there's the Primal Roar coming through onto Silent, but the chase is on, they've got themselves the track on HFN as well as Tavo. The Ice Path, nice new place to stop a couple of these heroes on the side of Final Moon in their tracks, but No Fear gets the kill, they drop out three, they'll take out Duster and Tavo as well. So, they lose three, and Final Moon take absolutely no losses. And these are super kills, essentially. Oh, they, might, they might even get Weeha. Oh, we they've are. surrounded him, they've got the track, there's the Shuriken, Yules comes out, I don't know how far this is going to get you, Weeha, but the cask is there, and this whole side of Final Moon is here too, and they will get themselves another. And Tinker able to just get his mana back, TP back to base, come back into these fights where Final yep. Moon are going to put pressure on multiple lanes, it seems like, at the same time. And often in this kind of situation, Pain would want to be, you know, split pushing the other side of the map, but Tinker, he deals with that. He counters it. He can TP back in the trees, lay down some mod, and suddenly that split push threat isn't there. Ooh, Primal Roar comes out on Silent, but they've got the track on Tavo. He says, has to be very careful as the cast bounces around. Silent, he'll grab the kill on Tavo. King RG getting very low. He'll drop as well. Iceberg with a double kill. Ice Path finally lands, but this is just not a bounty hunter. They'll also throw the Yules. The buyback comes out from Tavo. They'll land the stun. Lucid Beam comes out as well as the Eclipse, but this just isn't doing enough. They've got the Doom. The ulti from Always Wanna Fly. They'll pop the Aegis, and this is just Final Moon overwhelming pain gaming. No Fear finally drops, but they look at HFN with his second life. They go in deep into this base, take out HFN, and now it looks like they have no way to defend this top tier three from going down. We all will give an attempt as he is invis and lands the sun on silent, but they've already lost the tier three shot shrines become available and tinker back into the fight with full mana so you need to be very careful boy oh boy fly the moon just doing everything right this game showing nerves of steel on the main stage as they break high ground 5v6 oh, look at these rockets they'll take out duster there's the yules coming out the pearl strike finally hits so maybe it's not something with the epicenter coming through with the infernal blade hits on we have epicenter doing a lot oh, of damage iceberg. to iceberg he will actually drop they haven't even got this melee wraps yet yeah they'll take out tavo as well though and it's just king rd and duster as the buyback comes out from we are they'll try and clean up Nagrata, but he's so tanky. The Laguna Flame finally Rax. comes out from Silent. They we'll really want it. the Rax. He'll drop. Maybe they can get the team wipe, because is the only one here. They put him up with the Yules. There's the Ice Path, as well as the Sun coming out from oh. Weeha, and it, in essence, becomes yeah. a full team wipe for Kane Gaming. It's a bit of an overextension from Fly to Moon. They've got a bit ahead of themselves, something we've seen this kind of young team do from time to time in true CIS, YOLO fashion. He could just continue to move forward, and it's not really a problem for him is they're going to lose Duster so quickly. Yeah, he just felt like he had to linger around to protect his teammates, and then while you're a Jakiro, you don't have an escape. Everyone else just blinks and weighs out. I think they did. Well, everybody dropped, so I just, yeah. I'm just not sure who has it at the moment. But again, you just see, you see the tracks come out, and you can't really stay too far forward. If you get tracked, like, look at Duster. He's sitting here with half health as they try to slow siege the racks. Yeah, they're coming back for round two, knowing there's no Luna Aegis this time. Yeah, these rockets coming out on everybody on the side of Pain Gaming. Duster might just die here. Yeah, Duster hit with a bunch of these rockets. Tavo's going to lead with this Primal Roar, but there's really not much follow-up to it, except now with the Burl Strike. The Epicenter comes out on Silent. He's down to about half health. The BKB pop by HF, and the, do the Doom comes out on Weeha. So they lose Tavo. They lose Weeha. Both of them don't have buyback. Weeha dead for 80 seconds, and this Rax is looking devastated. It may not be just the top lane there, headed mid as well, Beacop. They want to completely crush Pain while they're down. They know this Lena has no buyback. These long respawns give Fly to Moon eons of time to just play around in the dire base in a 5v3 situation. Iceberg. Ooh, Duster might drop in the well, and he does. Look at these rockets and the damage they just put out. It's it's just too much. They can't leave their fountain. This Tinker is just keeping them locked up in their base, saying, get back in your cage. And meanwhile, the rest of the team's just taking your buildings. You want to leave, you want to defend your rats, yep. but Iceberg, he's giving you the no. <laughs> he's giving you the no go. Iceberg's like, all right, team, you're good now. He TP's bottom to get that lane pushing. They want to get the mega creeps Ooh, here if possible. Burl Strike comes out on Nagrata, but again, still surviving for the time being. HFM behind him as Silent goes on through, kills off King RD. Now he looks over at HFM, who's tracked up, continuing on forward to try and get this window. Will drop him, dead for 65 seconds with no buyback. Now he looks over at Davo, deep into this base. The Rockets will come through. The Primal work 
actually keeps them alive because the track is there and they can throw the kill? rockets. <laughs> <laughs> they want it. They did want it, but I think they had flashbacks to their last high ground push. Ooh, we got team by then. Let's let's chill. We don't want to go in nope. too far. We need to make sure that we don't throw this game, it, despite being up 22,000 net worth. Yeah, we has respawning, so he's going to be kind of the last defense of this bottom rack. If this he goes down, there is a range rack still standing top, but it is effectively GG if you can't hold oh, the bottom lane. Laguna Boy comes out on silent. The BKB is going to be popped by Weeha. They'll continue on forward, try for something, but silence overwhelming the side of Pain Gaming, especially Weeha, who lands the stun, but will lose his life. GG's call. Pain Gaming going home. Fly to Moon. They're all going to go up to space. Go to the said Moon. What a best of one performance from this team. A lot of wow. CIS veterans playing in front of their home crowd showing that Pain Gaming may have made it the furthest they ever have in a Valve event.